Kate would have had the Queen Mother's seal of approval, according to a royal expert. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond said the Duchess of Cambridge is turning out to be the real deal. Ms Bond praised Prince William's wife for her elegance and sense of duty. Ms Bond told OK. Magazine, Kate is turning out to be the real deal. Gracious, elegant, committed and dutiful, the Queen Mother would have very much approved of her. Ms Bond added that Kate takes after the Queen Mother by having lots of time for members of the public. The royal expert said, everyone who spoke to the Queen Mother would say that she gave you the time of day. I say the same about Kate. Gives the impression of being fully engaged and committed to any conversation or engagement, and the Queen Mother was notorious for that. She would just stay and chat to her fans. She would recognize them and approach the crowd. Ms Bond's comments come after Kate and Prince William carried out a tour of Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas earlier this month to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Media coverage of the trip was split, with some emphasizing the positive impact of their presence in the Caribbean, while others described images of the couple greeting crowds behind a wire fence as a PR disaster. Following the tour, a royal aide said the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will remain committed to their core charitable themes when they become the Prince and Princess of Wales. William is now into the second year of his Environmental Earthshot Prize and he met one of the inaugural winners during the final day of the tour in the Bahamas, while Kate's passion for the early years development of children was highlighted in a speech at a Jamaican school. The Duke is said to want to do things the Cambridge way in the wake of criticism of the royal visit. The trip is likely to be judged as a landmark moment for years to come, when the growing awareness of racial equality, in light of the Black Lives Matter movement, meant future Commonwealth tours would have to be sensitive to these issues. The couple carried out all their engagements in the Caribbean together but there are plans for the Duchess, who recently visited Denmark by herself, to embark on more solo trips. The Duke of Cambridge reportedly also wants to end the long-standing royal tradition of never complain, never explain and will have a smaller household supporting him and Kate. Ending their trip to Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas last weekend, the future king acknowledged the monarchy's days in those nations may be numbered as he stated the future is for the people to decide upon, and that he may not become head of the Commonwealth.